Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 32 CCL 45 match between Gdanik and Singolo. Uh, Gdanik's Brett's Singolo's Chofs. In the booth with me is Fimey. Hello. Hello everybody, and we have uh, Gdanik here, the, the American Hunter versus uh, Singolo and his uh, Chofs. <laughs> Singolo's the one with inducements. <laughs> Is that for real? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> He's got 12 players. Uh, Nick's got 14. But unfortunately for Nick, Nick has Bretonians. <laughs> and Sincolo has Chops. <laughs> uh, but yeah, a lot of them aren't very good, right? He's, he's, got, a, yes, no. he's got a guard there. Top of the best players and the versus uh, command chat tell us that the Jirene and Singolo have played only one game and it was a draw. Okay. But I mean this this clock like it's min max, isn't it? It's min max basically. He's got he's got only got four guards and then he's got a jump up pro claw pommer that can just completely win the game on its own. And the bulls are, are good enough, so yeah it's 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 probably more than uh, yes, more than min maxing I think it's just that the team uh, is single they have time to develop the team more. Yeah, fair enough. Because that claw without mighty blow, uh, yes, yes, wrong, wrong. He, he played it I'm, enough to get 104 SPPs in this guy, but yeah, probably people died and everything. And then, yeah. yeah, yeah, players do die. Uh, that is a that is a thing that happens. <laughs> and the thing with uh, Chorf, just one player dead oh. can be enough to delete the team. Yep. If he it's late the in the pro. season, he gets the pro look. Gets the pro. Of course, had it been Juggernaut, he'd have still got the knockdown. But um, he went with pro. Pro's, pro's not bad. I think it's pretty. Especially with jump up, right? Especially with jump up, that really makes pro a lot better. Yes, so, because you can uh, pro the jump up fail. Yeah. Yeah, I think that. And like Dauntless as well, right? He could have got. He could get Dauntless at Legend if he would get there. And the then thing he can is, all the Dauntless, fails Dauntless well. and Juggernaut are very good. In a specific circumstances, bro is gonna be good every single time you make a roll with that player. Yeah. Or at least half of the time you make a roll with that player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad, especially especially with jump up. And like obviously if if you play like Singolo, then you uh then you do tend to re-roll like greed re-roll bo blocks. I tend to shy away from re-rolling blocks, but uh, Singolo definitely doesn't. Have no, he has no problems with rerolling blocks. Stole my dice! <laughs> he steal my dices! <laughs> oh my god, he's oh. just cast him. Go up all that. Yes, instant apple. Still a good trade for the drive. For, uh, well, a bull versus a pleb. Every day of the week. <laughs> Every day of the week. The problem is, of course, he's just given up all these hits because birds are rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's the big problem. I think, I think here. going for the trench defense here for the birds is the wrong plan. <laughs> yeah, it's tough, but he's surviving so far. Does he uh, does he go conservative and pull the bull back, or does he does he go all in? Because there's there's very little on the Burt team. He goes all in. Oh, there's there's another there peasant gun. Boy, rowdy. Oh god, this is pretty. Looks, it's already looking horrendous for the birds. Wait, I didn't notice that the ball carrier of uh, Singolo also has pro. Wow, yeah, he likes pro, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's the only way people can steal his dice. <laughs> I'm sure, but I'm sure he has. Let's 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 bird Singolo. 
Oh, he's lost seven times against Burtz. What a noob. <laughs> what an absolute noob. <laughs> Losing against Burtz seven times. Yup. <laughs> That's a very high Burt factor. Very high Burt factor. But yeah, it's just this is just brutal for Nick, isn't it? Like he can't he can't get anything going because he's got so few guards. Basically, and like he doesn't have a str you know, like he doesn't have anything, does he? He just doesn't, he just doesn't have uh, anything. There is a you know, it's, it's, I think the uh, Denik have needs to do something more than existing. Let's go, the pro again, same result. Yep, look at that, only a little bit high, but yeah, high is good. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Singolo's average game time must be amazing. Oh, there you go. And this is the thing, right? This claw pummel can just take over the game. And, like, while that was a good trade for Nick, it lost his dirty player. So now, now, uh, Singolo is definitely going to pile on completely indiscriminately and just guard lock with everything else. And now Nick's got to roll some kind of crazy dice to get anything done. Yes. Not like Singolo will, you know, be intimidated in not piling on. He will still pile on. <laughs> yeah. But at least they, Nick will have a chance to get rid of him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, now it's just complete impunity, and like he can he can pile on in like stupid places, and and you know like and it just not care at all. Which normally you know he, he does like to pile on Singolo, but he wouldn't he wouldn't just like pile on in an absolutely terrible place where he was surrounded. Whereas now he can because Nick can't do anything about it. This is a nice turn by Gadenik, wasn't it? As, as horrendous as his position was, this was a pretty nice turn. As good as he could have done it. No, he's getting results. He's getting things done, but... Oof. Yeah, that was, that was a real good recovery turn from Nick, I think. Spectacular. Spectacular. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that! Oh, the jump! The pro! The jump! Oh! <laughs> Proving he's right! <laughs> nice chain there to free one of the chores. Yeah. Great tackle. And then that gets in the 2D there. We could see, we could see a surf here, couldn't we? I think that's probably what Nick will want to go for. Is <laughs> as bad as everything is. Oh, if he'd got a pow, he could have he could have uh, actually yeah. chained and, and done all sorts. Mm. Okay, so a blitz there. And then an assist. Well, not assisting. Protecting the ball. What a noob. Oh, well, gets the push anyway. <laughs> and obviously, he gives the counter surf, but it's a, it's a peasant, so he doesn't give a it's shit. It's a peasant. I mean, clearly, Gedenik doesn't mind uh, sacrificing his peasant. <laughs> yeah. Which, that's why they exist. Yeah, and there's another cast. Whoa, another cast. And that was an actual really good player. Yeah. She's dead. Apple comes in and fails. Yuck. What a magic game. Good ball. Where Apple fails. Fantastic. So fun. Yeah, I hate Apple. I, I absolutely hate Apple fails. It's like, I hate that more than anything. <laughs> I think. Of all the bad things in Blood Bowl, I think I hate Apple Field the worst. Because it's just kind of stupid, isn't it? It's stupid I think this will work, film. and if it was up to me, I'll uh, allow to use your apple on the moment the cast is done, at the end of the drive to any of the cast players, or at the end of the game. Yeah. yeah. You know, making it at the end of the drive, and the other player doesn't know if you have used it or not until the next drive starts. Yeah. You know, so you know, maybe, you know, you 
will I, you know, up or the killer or the AG player or something like that, you know, add a level of strategy to the Apple. Yeah, and uh, no Satterfield, not more than Norse players, but um, I mean, so, sorry, definitely more than Norse players, but you're thinking Norse coaches, they're the ones that I want to have. <laughs> <laughs> They're the ones that I want to kill. <laughs> Only joking. Only joking. Yeah. And then this is a nice little reverse from Gadenik, but he's got too too far to go, hasn't he, in two turns, I think. This is asking a lot with the ultra-responsive bull. Insulting the actual human that plays the team, not the, not yeah. the poor little pixels playing it. The person on the race select team selection screen. That's the problem. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody nose coaches. Fend that. Young Twitch. <laughs> Gotta just centralize the ball there. And it looks like we will see a tit or it's gonna be amazing. Lenny with his uh, title name. T A Y T O. Yeah, tag the ball is fine, isn't it? Oh, we'll never know if he was going to pile on or not. <laughs> Gets him. I mean, I don't know. I, th I think I think Nick played really well, but yeah, maybe you can. You, like, you know, where do you put the like? That's the thing, isn't there? Right? There's like it takes two to tango. So like, I think Nick did really well on, on some of those turns to do those things. But yeah, obviously, if there's an element of Singolo surely didn't play perfectly, a Blood Bowl su supercomputer would have probably played better than Singolo on those turns. So, but how much is how much is down to Nick being good and how much? Uh, Singolo oh, is nice. a man of facts, so he's not going to say no to, you know, a surf festival. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, who knows? Who knows? Who knows how much of it is Nick's, you know, Nick's good play in Singolo's play. And now like, Nick is in a decent position right now. Yeah. I, I thought it was very well played by Nick. I thought I thought his back was yes. against the wall and I thought he came up with really good plays. So, I would just give credit to... I would just give credit to Nick and not... Uh, and Singolo blinded by the blue last didn't uh, <laughs> position his uh, players, you know, to avoid precisely this. Yeah. I mean, look, yeah. look at the team; it's everybody's out of place. <laughs> yep. He can he can base the ball here, can't he? One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. So he can potentially blitz the ball if he gets the power. Uh, base the ball if he gets the power. I prod in the dumb skulls. <laughs> No, it was an actual reroll. That was an actual reroll. Wow. Yeah, because he needed the power to, to base the ball. That yes. was the thing. No actual reroll. And now splits. down this works, and it's gonna be. Uh... Yeah. There yeah. you go. Well played, Nick. Very well played. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's been it's been pretty much what you'd expect so far. It's kind of crazy that Singolo's the underdog. Um, but the pro the problem is, of course, that Singolo's apple worked and Gadenix didn't. So, so now he's down like a, you know like that's like a two player swing, isn't it? His working and his not. Um, but yeah, I mean, he was always gonna get out muscled and out bashed, really, Nick. But I think he's probably a touch and lucky to take three cows. Um, but yeah, you know this this is pretty much what you expected out of. Out of favour the chuffs. The claw pump is like too good, isn't he? Basically. And the chuffs now get to uh, LOS uh, series of hits. Yeah. And if any of the plebs gets a uh, cast, Nick will need to use a proper player in the LOS uh, half. Yeah, they get they get. Oh, no, they, still, still. they get the good old double double LOS, don't they? Which is huge. No, just, yeah, dodge, dodge against chalk blockers is not good, is it? I mean, you only got one, didn't you? You had one dodge. <laughs> you had one dodge. Hey. 
but it's a block the without down. The leader, if the leader doesn't come back, that's a huge uh, piece to lose. Ah, oh, the leader. Uh... But for this game, he had one dodge, which is not that good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so 3D now for the POM. Which can get it both down, can he? Might have re rolled that, or at least probed it. Looking for the both down. But, never mind. Just gonna try and get SPP on him for the next round, because. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> I'm confident, man, and also why not? Yeah. <laughs> He's on 21. It's a long way to go. He might get it before the final. He might get mighty blow. St. Goal seems pretty brutal. It's pretty TV efficient, but you've got to think it. You know, it's going to lose versus like Cruz's Chauve team, but it might not, right? The Claw Pummer is that good that it can just take over the game and. You know, if he rolls, if he rolls better than Cruz, he could definitely beat Cruz for this team. It's got the bare minimum that makes a team competitive, which is a claw pommer. <laughs> and, and lots of guard. Hmm. Yeah, a decent amount of guard and strength. Like yeah. it's, it's not, it's not, ter it's not a terrible chaff team, is it? It's just, it's just not rippling with ma mighty blow and stand firm like Cruz's is. Ooh, throw a rock. It <laughs> chaos a <laughs> chaos a peasant. I think Nick has the fame, so yeah. He did, yeah. Very, very random, though, isn't it? Throw a rock. Nope, there's one dead. Oh well. Well, yeah, but I mean, like th th this kind of team, like you know, I'd, I'd rather have Chris's kind of chores, but this kind of chores. Is still like still good enough and would still probably be good enough to beat Veli's team. Uh, maybe not coached by Veli, of course, but you know, like this is like a different type kind of team of Cruces, but I think the Cruce kind of team is is better, but this can certainly do things. But again, not not necessarily Penamu, just because there's so much variance in a game of Blood Bowl, right? It's very easy for Singolo's one jump up pro claw pommer to just go cars, 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 and <laughs> and then the one blitz per turn of a, of like Elliot's claw pommer to go pushes one in nine pushes, you know, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden it's looking rowdy. <laughs> it's because in bus mirrors, usually losing two players, you know, there are guard players or K players. It's a massive impact on the drive. Yeah. yeah, it's just a huge, it's just a huge equity stick <laughs> that you beat your opponent with. <laughs> oh dear. And there's no ball in uh, between uh, bash teams. It's massive because they can't run away. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, elves still can do. Oh, I'm out of here. You know, run away. But the uh, bash versus bash is like, I can barely move. So once one of the teams uh, is able to ward lock the other, it's nearly over. Yeah. Never over. Never over. It's never over. It's but... never over. And like, and like, you know, obviously, you know, Chos, uh, Chaos and Nurgle are favoured against even even Cruz's team, but even this one can win just but just by dicing. <laughs> like this could still dice Elliot's team. Getting on offense, the uh, and taking out three players on the LOS. And there you go. Oh my god, it's it's over, isn't it? It's not over. It's never over. <laughs> I'll ban anyone who says it's over. <laughs> but uh, this drive is instantly over. <laughs> Nick reduced to five players. <laughs> Turn one. <laughs> Turn one. Get absolutely fucked. Wow. What a what a half. Well, turn two. <laughs> Time to drop the GG and turn Fenton manual. It's not over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful push. Really taught him a lesson. 
Nice, the the hollow may be a little unnecessary, but, oh, but he gets another change, so he yeah. frees. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Four standing players, and the, and the the great thing is the jump up. The jump up on the claw pommer just like eliminates Chorf's only weakness, which is slow claw pommer, right? So like, it's just incredible that he's got the jump up on it. It's like the best thing they can get. I think jump up on a claw pommer is the best thing Chorf can get. Yes. There you go. Literally the best thing, because like it's up there with plus strength. Like plus strength on Chorf blockers is good. But jump up on a claw pommer is just, is just proper ridiculous because then it, 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 it destroys the only weakness they they have. Yeah, yeah, like it's so it's so it, it really is a big bad weakness. Like a bit like obviously having two claw pommers kind of alleviates that because one piles on and the other stands up. So like you know if you've got two claw pommers it's all right, but if you've got one and he's jump up it's like it's insane. Hello, PC. They can still come for the ball, yes. Of I course. think if uh, Nick rolls enough sixes, he can get to the ball. Yeah. And of course, Corfu would be saying, Ha ha ha, why, why do you leave a 4 four six six? This could have been a 5 6 6. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, my God. Why, why do you give him a 0.3%? <laughs> Dude. Big Kev, what a legend. And now he has run away from the claw pommer this turn. He successfully avoided the curl palm for one turn. Oh dear. And even, even like even if you've got two, you'd still rather one had jump up and you could still like do pushes into him and everything, couldn't you? Still use a jump up for blocks. Yeah, so like jump up is still great. Absolutely fantastic because <laughs> Your opponent can't let any piece next to it because it's gonna jump up and hit it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, I mean, I think just jump up, jump up in general is just fucking great on claw palm, but just even more so on, on chorfs and other teams again. Sorry, but uh, I've been uh, calling a uh, PTK so water toxic for <laughs> ages. <laughs> yeah, absolutely ages, man. Yeah, get with the times. He's the most toxic show water in CCL. <gasps> Everybody knows that. It's mm. known fact. Mm. <laughs> Rebel figured it out years ago. <laughs> <laughs> he still gets the mighty blow this curb on man. <laughs> doesn't even get it. Shit. <laughs> oh. Does he GFI to hit the good player? Like, no instant goal or maybe? No, he's overtime at best. He's got to be sensible. He, but I bet he wanted to GFI to hit him. <laughs> I bet he wanted to. <laughs> but yeah, with with only with it being overtime, you know, at best he's he's got to conserve rerolls, hasn't he? Should have moved this guy first, right? Because Hex is nice. like, well, triple skull fucks him here a bit. He could have just moved the, moved the guy over and not get fucked by triple skull. Oh, I don't like that chain. The chain could have been, you know, basically the the, the mighty blow play. Oh, he's going to the score. Wow, 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 wow. rowdy. That's really fucking rowdy. Because, like, you might as well just score on, t like, you know, okay, you're 50-50 to lose this toss, but you just hear, like, you've already lost the toss now, <laughs> aren't you? Like, it's not it's not achieving anything. I guess I guess it, it gets you more hits because, like, Nick can't lie down anymore. That's really right. I mean, I, t I said Singolo's rowdy, isn't he? Singolo is, is not like Cruz. <laughs> no, 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 no. Guaranteed that the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, Mengel, that's a good choice, yeah. Just start watching the match. I can already tell Singolo's the better coach because he didn't decide to play birds. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's uh, usually a good uh, thing. Yeah. No, I think it, I think it's crazy to score, really. Like, even though Nick has only got six players, he could have had eight. And if he's got eight players and four turns and three re-rolls, even though they're, they're only shit players... Um, a lot of them, he, yeah, he, he had done things in the first half, so he could have done in the second half. It's fine, gets the reroll for the extra, for the overtime, you kick. Two already. 
And yeah, PC, yeah, that, it, it, <laughs> that is just maths. <laughs> just maths. Do you know what you should have responded to him with, PC? Oh, oh, oh there you go, there you go. <laughs> a dagger! A dagger! Oh, man. A literal dagger with, with movement 6, agility 3, and 2 shitheads. One player less. Wow. But that touch was, yes, was the right play to do, I mean. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I think Actually, I would have yeah. tried to put in the guard and go down the sideline and just yolo it, to be honest. But, <laughs> but you I know. Think, uh, yes, Nick is uh, existing right now for a few times to see what happens <laughs> the overtime. Yeah, I mean, it's tough, isn't it? Like, you know, it's not really a criticism of Nick. Like, it's, it's what do you do here? But I still don't like Singolo playing for it. I think he should have definitely just taken it to OT. And then half of the time he gets the ball and just guarantees win. At least this gives like one, you know, a sliver of a chance to Nick and then maybe another sliver of a chance afterwards anyway. Well, exactly, PC, yeah. No, nobody likes bulls in the face, yeah. Way. Well, not no one. <laughs> <laughs> not no who knows, one. Obviously. Who knows? Who's <laughs> yeah. right? Who's not, wrong? It's not, impossible to know. Yeah, not no one, PC, but. <laughs> there's there's there definitely people some people that, who, who really rather enjoy. <laughs> there are people that pay for that. <laughs> and I mean both your typing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. There we go. So here's the here's the stunning breakthrough turn on the Dakar of just moving your four players over a little bit. <laughs> oh, it's terrible, isn't it? But he's got the faintest chance. But it, yeah, it's super hard against the Bulls because he can just keep the tackle at back, right? You, you keep the tackle back there, and it's like, how the hell do you do you get through with cover? It's so hard. But you still got to try. You still got to try a T A Y T O, haven't you? That's your only shot. Has to. Ooh, a push. Pro comes in, gets the pow. Pro, best skill of the game, fifty percent of the time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, d I don't like this. I do not like this. I would have definitely just kept him back. That's like. Uh... Involving a lot of players in a place that they are not actually needed. Yeah, yeah. I would have moved him back first. Yeah, as Mengel says, in case of, in, in case of not even quads, right? Just pro into into dub skulls. So I gotta just have him back there, and like this gives Nick I mean, the faintest chance that he hasn't got. He for. has created a literal wall of players, <laughs> so Nick can. Yeah, it was pass. hard. It was hard, but he had like a kind of a chance. Wow, reroll here. Oh, did Singolo reroll the GFI? Did he? Yes. Holy moly. Yes. Yeah, that's wild. That is wild. Yikes. That's a, a massive overconfidence by Singolo, I have to say. This is like eating all your Werther's originals on the channel. Yeah, PC is of a certain age now, isn't he? In, for, in with the Werther's originals. You just start, you start enjoying Werther's original when you reach your uh, second half of your 29s. <laughs> Very good. Oh, man, also, you know. I find it's really hilarious that the word of the originals are the classic grandpa granny uh, candy. Yeah, yeah. In every country. <laughs> Do you know what a teacher said um, the other day? That one of their students said the early 1900s. And they were like, holy shit, do I feel old now? <laughs> it does sound pretty crazy, doesn't it? That like... You know, kids these days think of it as the 1900s, and that is mind boggling, isn't it? Wow. 
Better not think about that. Let's focus on the blood bowl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Overtime. Yep. Overtime. Woo! <laughs> We're not ancient. <laughs> Who's going to win? Nick's got half a chance of his... He's, Nick has one, so he's got half a chance again. Six players. Half a chance. That uh, leader player has been out for ages. Yeah. Yeah, he has, yeah. Well, Mengel5, uh, we can ignore aging in CCL, except Elliot. He's the only <laughs> coach that had to take that in consideration. Yeah, he's probably the only person that's ever affected, and then now it's been removed in future. <laughs> there is half a chance. There is half a chance. Um, maybe it's not half a chance. There's, there's a sliver of equity. There's a sliver of it. Hashtag pray for Judaic. Hashtag just existing. <laughs> Don't you put the guard over here, and then put him in there, blitz, and then like essentially potato. Like it's hard. You've got to do something, right? It's hard. But... There are animals that are immortal, aren't they? Uh, like in terms of aging. And they're just obviously you can still tread on them and stuff <laughs> or eat them up <laughs> or all these other things but there are there are some animals that like the the like they get old and then they get young again and stuff and things like that yeah, really some je jellyfish some jellyfish at some point can become younger again they go back to being teenagers yeah that's fucking wild how good would that be holy shit <laughs> could you imagine that <laughs> yes <laughs> it would be really nice to have it now because it was in the past probably the earth population will be much less <laughs> wow there we go it's a removal uh, maybe Mars and I, I I don't know or care but you know but qualifying for uh, I, I know there are teams that play lots of games CL every season but qualifying <laughs> yeah I mean maybe I just don't know yeah. <laughs> PC. God, I'd, I've never, I've never understood getting to finger people. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to ever. <laughs> Even if they ask, I'll uh, consider the situation very carefully every time. Yeah, yeah. Oof. <laughs> you never know what you're getting your hands on. Exactly. What am I getting out of it first? That's the question you've got to ask. <laughs> exactly. How I'm going to remember this? Let's just chop the corner. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh, flip me. Well, he's doing the right thing, reversing the field, not getting a knockdown, so it's pathetic. But he's got a knockdown there, he's got something now, it's just turning into a turtle. Which, you know, if he can turtle eight turns with this team, first of all, hats off to him. But second of all, he could, you know, he's got the reroll advantage. Uh, sat a it earlier. He's very, very much favoured uh, if you've got two reroll advantage. Now he doesn't. Not, uh, not anymore. Because he has, to, he has to survive there, which he's not going to, but, you know. We can pretend. We can pretend that he's got a chance. Of, <laughs> he's got a chance of getting the kicks while he's got, made another removal. But the players, like the bulls, are just so good, aren't they? And the claw pump is so like devastating. It's just like how on earth, how on earth is is he going to survive? Got two. Yeah. Yeah. He's got. There's a lot of variance in Blood Bowl, isn't there? That's the thing. Like, yeah, okay. Looking at it, you'd you'd expect the Claw Pump to remove a player return, and the Strength Nine, the, the Strength Nine, the Armor Nine Thick Skull guys to not be removed. But it's it's very easy for dice rolls to remove those Armor Nine Thick Skull guys, and for the Claw Pump to not remove anyone. If Tingolo gets a double skulls, as much as vantage as he has now, and he gets a double skulls in one of the first blocks of the town. Nick has a real good chance of being able to run away. Yeah. For example, in the last turn, turn 18, you know, where uh, double skulls, and then 
decides not to reroll it or something like that, which will be the right play to do because Holly has one reroll left. <laughs> oh, and now I think we're seeing a replay of the last uh, half. I like this. Whether... I like this move here. Oh no, he's coming the way. Oh, I, I preferred it my way. Yeah, it's running away again, isn't it? It's all he can do. Oh yeah, okay, yes. yeah, he's gone up that way. He was just doing it better. <laughs> he was just doing this it, is it better. Jim. Yeah, this and then is the Hail Mary pass. Yeah, Hail this Mary is what I like. Play. This is what I... see. What I liked was I like just going for the pass this turn. He could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI, right? Get away from him. He could have got away from the bull basically and then tagged the other bull, but he's got break tackle. But still, that would have been my play. But um, it's not. It's, he's got a chance. He's got the chance. If only he had Hail Mary pass. <laughs> He only had. He doesn't have very many pass. What kind of burst team is this? <laughs> <laughs> Foolish. I mean, come on, man. Blitzers have access to pass skills. They do. He literally could have taken it instead of diving tackle. The diving tackle isn't that good, is it? So, yeah, he, it genuinely could have been a shot. Oh, dead. Unlucky. Doesn't matter, you're not making this wrong. This guy, oh, this is the show hands. He could have had it instead of Fend. I wouldn't have hit. I mean, I think I said to take Fend, but I wouldn't have hated HMP then. Instead of Fend. Fend's pretty good. <laughs> ah, I'm just being a dickhead. There we go, another death. Well, now he's. Uh... When the Dinic. level of casualties reach the KO box. Technical. The technical term for Kadenik's situation now <laughs> is proper fucked. <laughs> Send back in. <laughs> oh dear. Bad. He's giving Nick. himself a chance. He's giving himself a chance, look. Nick choosing to play uh, Brett's. Wasn't. Yeah, it's the biggest mistake anybody can make in Blood Bowl. <laughs> Basically. So while he may have made some good plays in this game, he has no. made literally the worst ma mistake he can make in Blood Bowl. No, no, no. I think there is one worse. That the, the only reason uh, Breaths are not the worst human team is because uh, Kislev is an actual thing. <laughs> I mean, that's fair, but I don't know. Berts are still Berts are. Burts deserve everything they get. And they've won, they've won Chalice twice, but it was when there were less teams. Uh, oh my god, he's actually it's actually in the vicinity of his only player. Uh, they did win Chalice twice, but it was when there were very few teams, right? And there wasn't like uh, some of the teams that wreck Burts, like Chorfs. But yeah, no, Chorfs aren't that bad. Really. Oh my god, he's cast himself on a GFI. Nichols! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Doesn't help Nick, but uh sure helps whoever Singolo's playing next. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's another one gone. Yeah, yeah, I guess it wasn't that bad, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, was he stood up? No, he had to stand up, didn't he? One, two, three, four. GFI, pass, catch, run away. Wow, wow, wow. No, no it's no, not the no. rest uh, format. The Chalice and the CCL are uh, proper pay. <laughs> oh my god, what a massacre. But I bet Singolo is uh, is not happy. GFI dead. Yeah. GFIs are the prime source of bull deaths, to be fair. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Same as uh, war dancers and uh, gutter runners. Mm. Free movement of dead, yeah. Golo aiming for the pitch clear. <laughs> Gets his uphill on the ball. No, he doesn't. <laughs> the question here is, does Singolo lob it to this guy? <laughs> oh, he's already leveled him. No, then. 
still has enough turns to be able to reach in normal uh, by normal mid. Yeah, he could have he could have greeted the the pass like if he needed to score. Like it would have been incredibly stupid, but I wouldn't have been surprised. <laughs> No, that's unfair. <laughs> like you know, it would have been, it would have been, it would have been a fun thing to do, I guess, if if he had more of a reroll advantage. To be fair, one one to zero, it's probably. We're not talking about development. Time. Everybody knows that the uh, war dancers are absolutely mortal, unless you are playing with uh, they are your war dancers. They will die for a hit. <laughs> but if your opponent have war dancers, they are immortal. They can only kill themselves. It's the only way. Yeah, yeah. You foul a war dancer with five assists and he just shrugs it off as you roll a double yes. one. And get removed. <laughs> it would have been very impressive, Penamir, as he's only got two players. He could legal concede now, just to deny, uh, just to deny single all the extra three SPPs. Doesn't matter. He's already leveled this guy. <laughs> What's next for him and after pro? Um, good question. He'll hope for a double for. Uh... Oh, he pro. Oh, oh my God. Oh my oh, god. If he died, if what? he died. How can dead. you pro that? How do you pro that? Like, you have to team reroll it, don't you? I guess he can base the ball. Yeah, I guess he had to just pro it. I guess he had to pro it, didn't he? Yeah, holy shit. Holy shit, he just had to, but like. He should have done better to allow the ball base when there's two players. You shouldn't be allowing somebody to ball base the ball that easily. And then you could have re -roll, used a team reroll. Because imagine if he'd, imagine if yes, he had. Uh... Yes, he still had one team reroll. He should have team reroll. Uh... <laughs> imagine if he, imagine if he failed the pro and like died. <laughs> and the last like three turns when the game was completely over, he could have lost a bull and his, and his claw bomb. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> okay, okay. The la the last one, the last one, <laughs> the last one, the last one got me. <laughs> I remember the vindicated. That was that was a great meme. Um, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Twenty two AV breaks to six. Absolutely slaughtered, Kadenik. But I, I think Kadenik did some really great moves to try and stay in it. But it was just. I mean, three deaths. Staying is like uh, brutal. <laughs> yeah, it was absolutely brutal look for Nick. He did some great plays, but uh, you yes. know, Singolo did enough, didn't he? Good for him. Singolo's next uh, rival must be very happy right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so there you go. Uh, commiserations, Gadenic. Congratulations, Singolo. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you very much for having me. Absolutely glorious of you to join us as always. Thank Always you. a pleasure to be here. And uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.